something. God, another one. I'm staying out of this. Something. Here for a room or something to... I've already told that buffoon that I'm not paying you people a single coin. Look around you. I'm barely keeping this rat hole together. The war seemed to that. Ha, Come on, you. give it your best shot. You're just gonna stand there and take Come it? here. Fight back! Please stop. Hey, okay, take it. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. My skill in battle. Can I interest you in anything today? Uh, what? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Petty threats and fist-waving are not going to sway me. You people are all talk. And everyone knows it. You demand payment for protection. And you can't even protect yourselves! Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. I'm going to make you sorry for this. Come! By Get this smear, you won't leave here Get alive! Him. Please, no more. I'll pay, what I'll pay! Do? Here! Looking for something or what? Of course. My niece Vanna, she's been with me ever since her parents were killed by bandits and she was dropped in my lap. Yes? Of course. My niece Vanna helped. She's been with me ever since her parents were killed by bandits and she was dropped in my lap. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> I'm busy. Don't you have something to do? Are you daft? I told you not to kill any of them. How much clearer do you need me to be? How about the gold? Did... I suppose it's not a total loss then. Let me give you a piece of advice. If you want to make some serious coin in this business, you need to I listen need to, to rules. Now, on to sure other time. things. You know I'm good for it. Despite your mistakes, I see more potential in you than half the snot-nosed footpaths that stumble their way into the flagon. I'm going to put my neck on the line. We need people like you in our outfit. That's the spirit. 
Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. What's on your mind? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? Huh. I suppose I can work with your face. After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. I assumed you were here to see me about your face. To have it sculpted into something more artful than nature has bestowed upon you. <laughs> so, are you here as a client? Shall I remake your face? Indeed. It is no small thing to submit yourself to the flesh sculptor's knife. I think you better listen to Mercer and Brignol so, first. So, you're Brignol's the protégé, eh? Don't look like much to me. Let me show you the operation. Then you can ask your questions. It's just this way. Keep following me. Let's wait until Brynjolf's here before we begin. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new Thank recruit. You. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. So, if you play by the rules, tail, you walk her. away rich. If you break the rules and you lose your share. No mind debates, mind. no discussion. Women on the same what night. do we say, when we say? Well, if you don't want to hear do I make myself clear? Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work, so let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Grignol will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you... Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us than you're in. So, friend. Welcome to the family, lad. Yeah. I'm expecting well. you to make us a lot of coin. So, so don't disappoint me. Get, you know, Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. <laughs> we can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place. And the oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Hey, I'm not done talking to you yet. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart-mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. That's not how things work around here. Without them at our backs, we'd be in si Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up.
So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. Yes. So, what do you think, my dear? It's Could one thing to say you've got the you skills to ever see yourself. It's been a long time since anyone joined us. Hey, hey! I want to talk to you. Now. You're pretty tough. I respect that. Bring an... I joined up with... Small clan. Maybe 20 men. We'd raid villages, rob car... Don't get me wrong. The first... All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink, and all the women I could bed. We raided a caravan one spring. I think they didn't put up much of a fight. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek, he ordered us to kill the rest. You wanna talk to me? Okay. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? <laughs> <laughs> 